Louis Gohmert, who incidentally studied in the uh, Soviet Union. I don't know if you knew this. <sighs> wow, yeah, that's questionable. The Gomericans uh, is what we used to talk about. Louis Gohmert was one of like uh, we had a whole thing where Louis Gohmert was a um, where we we you know like a sleeper cell mm-hmm. in and of himself. Still possible, but here he is. You think Bernie Sanders is kidding about his disgust at billionaires? No, no. They'll take your money, they'll use it to win, and then after they win, uh, they'll take your money and you either go to a gulag or you're put to death. But they're mm-hmm. not going to leave billionaires around to manage things. They'll take your money and you will go the way as so many Soviets did. First off, I love the fact that Louis Gohmert is appealing to billionaires and yeah. saying, stop trusting Bernie Sanders so much. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's a big problem. Like, the, the, like, is he talking to like one person? No, he's just like trying to create this, like the liberals are the ones but that he's are in a, bed with the billionaires while he's trying to be like, I'm, I'm the one who's looking out for you. He's, a, he's addressing the billionaires that support Bernie Sanders. Like he's going to, he's going to come after you. And then he's saying like, blogs. we can't leave the billionaires to manage things. Does he not realize like that's also a problem? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nah. When did we decide that? We, we, yeah. <laughs> hey buddy, you were elected to Congress. You're supposed to be one of the guys managing things. We're not going to leave it to the billionaires to manage things. And then the other thing is, is that there's another way to get rid of the billionaires. You don't have to kill them. You can tax them in such a manner that they are no longer billionaires. And then you can allow them to run free. Right. But the point is, is that... He's saying they're going to take all your money and then they're going to put you to death because the billionaires are so inherently worthy of their money that they're, they're too much of a threat to keep around. So once you take your mon- their money, you have to kill them. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, the uh, I think what's I th- interesting, though, is it's actually a pretty good indication of uh, Republican politics, a good uh, synopsis. Right. He's saying Bernie Sanders is serious. You know, billionaires are going to die under you know, uh, under the socialism. Right. Okay, that's not true, but fine, take it, uh, take that. But poor people will die under uh, Republicans if you take the inverse of those policies, right? Yeah, I would also just like to point out, like, all these people that talk about uh, the gulag, we are the number one jailer on Earth, uh, right? It just in raw numbers. So I don't know what we're, like, posing as. Well, we, we're posing that billionaires will potentially be in jail, which we know doesn't and, exist in this country. And we don't call it the gulag. We call it jail, so it's better. Right, but gulag sounds more Soviet. That's my point, is that what he's worried about is that we're going to change the name of jail, and we're going to jail just as many people. In fact, he's worried we're going to jail less people, but change the name to gulag. I'm going to lock up Louis Gilmer and Riker's gulag. <laughs> there you go. And when you do lock him up, you need to put on the Louis Gilmer accent. Uh, well, obviously, I want him to feel at home in liberal New have, York's gulag. Have fun sitting next to your billionaire friend who's dead, and we took his money, <laughs> Louis. You like a dead billionaire cellmate? Do you happen to notice a sign when we brought you in here? Didn't say jail, did it? It said gulag. And you know who wrote that sign? <laughs> Bernie Sanders. That's his handwriting. Red paint you know what red means um what if we put the gulags on mars then that they might actually like it up there there you go you want to go up there so bad here's your jet pack one-way ticket to mars gulag he's uh he's bush now go gomer's uh district is also uh in the bottom third of poorest districts in texas that's because we won't let a, a billionaire manage it. 